Why is it when people say, have you got a pen? You know you don't have a pen, but you still frisk yourself. <laughs> I don't think... <laughs> don't believe I do have a pen. Do you believe me? You really want to help them as well. You start talking about pens you had. I had a pen. <laughs> I can see the pen in my mind. <laughs> if you had have come to me earlier, you would be writing now. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Sometimes you're on the phone and people will go, have you got a pen to take down a number? And you immediately say yes, even though you don't have a pen. <laughs> we all like to play a little game called, say you have a pen and then try to find the pen before they give the number. <laughs> so they'll go, have you got a pen? You go, yes. They go, oh, I need a pen. <laughs> Sometimes they start giving the number, you still don't have a pen. It's 0202. I'm thinking, <laughs> Sometimes you never find the pen and you pretend to take down the number and you never even get the number. Because you feel too embarrassed to go, I lied about the pen. <laughs> I lied about the pen. I know I shouldn't have done it. I lied about the pen. Can we ever get over this hurdle and start again? <laughs> in Argos, do you take the pen? You, don't, you think of taking the pen. You're in Argos, you look at the pen, you think, I could take this pen. <laughs> and I don't know if this pen goes with my lifestyle. What if someone said, have you got a pen? And I go, I have the Argos pen. <laughs> the Ikea pencil? I'm not doing well in the credit crunch. <laughs> Argos is the weirdest shop on earth. Argos is the shop that said, we think shops should be like this. And all other shops went, no. <laughs> no, we're going to stick with the putting the stuff we have in the shop, and then they pick it, then they pay. And Argos went, no, people don't want a shop like that. They want a big book of shopping. <laughs> You need to be in pretty good physical condition to get to the index of the book, don't you? You see people sort of limbering up, going, Wow! Right. <laughs> then when you find what you want, but then you have to do your own little stock check. Well, I didn't know I had to do my own stock check here. Then you write it down, you pay money, you get a new piece of paper, you still don't even have what you paid for. Then you go to probably the most depressing area in life. <laughs> Literally. It's like bingo, but you win what you've already paid for. <laughs> there are rows of seating. You feel like... It's like a theatre for the poor. I've never seen anything quite so dramatic. <laughs> I had another baby. I've had two babies now. It's difficult. Well, it's amazing. I mean, you know, it's a wonderful thing to make babies. You know, it's a lengthy process and... Pregnancy is hard, hard and long, the whole thing. Seeing that little picture on the scan, so lovely, exciting. There he is. You can't really make him out, but you pretend, oh, somewhere there. <laughs> they all look the same. I don't even know if the technology exists. <laughs> Somebody showed me their baby. It's like, I'm having this baby. No, that's my baby. I have that baby. <laughs> Do you think when I smile, I look, I look like a fat Chinese man? Do you think? <laughs> It's got, I have to keep a straight face now when I order Chinese because the waiters think I'm Chinese and speak Chinese to me. <laughs> I've had some lemon chicken. <laughs> <laughs> My son has the same eyes. That's very sweet. Little baby looking up at me with his little Chinese eyes and big fluffy hair that makes me know that he's mine. <laughs> and his little black face that makes me doubt it. <laughs> you sure this is mine, though? He was actually late. My baby was late. They have like a due date and he missed it. So my wife was over pregnant and all parents always give you advice. Everyone, everyone who's been through it offer advice. And the same advice kept coming back to us to try to induce labor in your overdue pregnant wife. You should have sex and eat curry. People <laughs> put oh yes, sex and curry. Sex and curry? There's no prizes for guessing who might have come up with this theory. <laughs> Men are sitting in pubs going, I can't believe we got away with that. <laughs> Do you think we can get a football in? Do you think there's any chance at all at this point? <laughs> My wife and I, of course, tried it until we were thrown out of the Raj King, Muswell Hill. <laughs> People want to go away now. Winter sun. You start Googling winter sun. Googling. Googling is risky at home anyway. In the modern day, when a woman in a household says, I'm just going to go on the internet, alarm bells ring in the mind of a man. Right, let me just sort the computer out. <laughs> right, 
that should be fine there now. <laughs> it's as if no one's been on here. It does that. It does that. <laughs> How stressful is it going on? Passport. Passport. Who's got the passports? Who shall take a passport? Should we take individual passports? I will take all passports. I will take on all passport responsibility. <laughs> In the airport, everyone's checking. Every few seconds, people just walking. For some reason, you don't find them. Ah! It's okay. I'm oh, sorry, sorry. I was looking in the wrong pocket. I've got them. Oh my God! I thought it was over. People never want to show you their photo. People always want to see it. It's like, can I see the photo? Can I see the photo? Can I see the photo? No. No, you can never see my photo. No. Get up, please. Get up. No. I'm so ugly in this photo. Do you know what passports are? They're an accurate representation of your face. <laughs> so that you can pass ports. That's what you look like, OK? Deal with it. You'll probably notice when you go through customs, people don't go, oh, you are so hideous, but quite model-like in the flesh. <laughs> I will not believe it's you. <laughs> they don't do that, do they? They go, ugly, ugly, get the bags. It's because I'm getting older, you see. My wife and I were the same age. Little things have started changing. For years, everything was the same. Everything was the same. But now we can feel it creeping in. It's not exactly old age, but little, little differences. For example, we can't stay up at night. We, we pass out. <laughs> Every single... About 9.30 is a late one for us. <laughs> we get so tired. You know when you click on the Netflix thing and it goes, boom, boom. That's the sound of my wife and I's head hitting the pillow and passing out. <laughs> I can't get behind it. 